And welcome back. Well, earlier in the program, we heard from Common Ground volunteer Katie Wolf about cuts of meat. And now Katie is back with a recipe to share. Karen is standing by now with more. Thanks, John. We are excited about this one. It's a bagel dip. Is this your recipe? So this is in honor of my husband's birthday, which is today. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jake. So this <laughs> is one of his favorite family recipes. It's from his mom's side of the family. And it has one of our favorite ingredients, which is beef. So we wanted to showcase uh, dried beef, which is a processed meats product. And we talked earlier on the show today about whole muscle or um, roast cuts. This is actually made from the round. Our local butcher makes it. So you can see that's a nice whole piece of meat. It slices up great. And so it's really the star of our recipe today. And okay. so it's a very simple appetizer. It's um, what I like to call a dump and go. So we're just gonna <laughs> dump everything in the bowl, mix it together, and then eat it on a bagel. So Okay, how do we we'll begin? We'll start with a cup of mayonnaise. Okay. Put that in there. And does it matter what kind you use if you want to use light? It does not. I am a full fat person, so <laughs> <laughs> I am not bashful Perfect. about that. Also one cup of sour cream. sour cream. Again, I use full fat sour cream. Okay, perfect. One tablespoon of dried dill. A teaspoon of accent. And if that is something that you don't like to use or don't wanna use, feel free to substitute it with salt, just regular table salt. Okay. And then we have, I use a full pound of sliced dried beef. You can use half a pound, but again, we really like um, to have a lot of meat in this particular dip. So we'll just put this whole container in there. Why not? Love to have more meat, right? Yes. And then just give it a good mix. Get it all incorporated. And then you can chill it if you like, but you can also eat it straight out of the bowl as well. Wow, I bet you take this to a lot of different gatherings or church events. Yes, we do. It's a really mm -hmm. great appetizer to go. It comes together super fast, obviously. Um, these are typically ingredients that we would all have on hand in our refrigerator. So if we're in a bind, mm. it's it's really good just to grab and go. Okay, so why did you make this in honor of his birthday? Is this one of his favorites? It is one of his favorites, yes. <laughs> and so then when we do our bagels, um, I use kitchen shears and I'll just cut them into little triangles. Oh, I'll let you do that. Yes, and then that is, so oh, wow. it's super slick. And then you just get little triangle pieces and then you can dip on that. Okay, perfect. I will give that a try. I'm looking forward to this. This is perfect for the game this weekend, too. Absolutely. It is perfect for all of those picnics or Super Bowl games, um, volleyball, football games, now that we're into the fall mm. sports season. This is very good, Katie. Thank you for this. Thank you very much. Great recipe. It's on our Pure Nebraska page and on my Facebook page, too, if you want to copy it down. Simple ingredients and very tasty. Very good. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Back to you, John.